With offensive line associate head coach, run game coordinator Jim Mahalchik talking about the early signees in your room, Jim. Good to see you again, coach. And now you go the junior college route at Diablo Valley, a good program, and Rob Vanderlaan. Tell us a little bit about Rob, what you saw in him. You know, Rob's actually a little bit more developmental guy. He uh, graduated high school in June and was a little bit undersized, and he's one of the late bloomers. He literally just turned 18. Uh, just turned 18 and uh, so he's kind of put a bunch of weight on his body he's developed quite a bit um, I think he's got uh, a lot of upside I like his competitiveness I like his athletic ability probably be more of a tackle guy for us mm. and I think there's a, a lot of room for growth now he'll have four years left to play three mm -hmm. and we'll be here in January mm. go through spring ball how much value, though, will Rob have coming out of two good programs, Miramati and Diablo, is on the football part of it and what's required a little further along, even though there's still some development there? Yeah, probably a little. I mean, he's been very well. He's had some really good coaches and, and guys that I knew, and that made it really easy mm -hmm. to uh, recruit him because I kind of know more who the person is. Right. And, and uh, you know, a lot of his is the physical development, um, getting stronger, you know, mm -hmm. and getting in our weight program here will be phenomenal for him. Uh, and going through spring ball. So I think he's got a tremendous upside. I think his growth is growth potential is huge. Uh, I look forward to seeing him develop. Final thing, uh, Jim, and that is just the, the development within your room with all of your guys. How difficult is it? You said jumping from high school to this level in the Pac-12, it isn't easy. But with you and the staff and the guys in, in the weight room, but, but learning the football part of it, in your experience, you know, how, how difficult, how hard is that, and the biggest things you're trying to communicate to these young men? Well, it's, a, you know, what level do you want to be at? Do you want to be at a functional level or do you want to be at a um, master level? Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to master something, there's always something more you can learn. There's always uh, understanding defenses more, understanding the concepts of the play more, and I think that the more you learn, the more you know, and same with the techniques, uh, the better chance you have to, to achieve your potential. As a goal with your group in this second year now, with the way your offensive line functions, with the tight ends in the various aspects, what are you working most on and hope to see the biggest jump in? You know, I'd like to see our execution be more consistent. I think uh, a little bit of hit and miss at times. Um, I think we can get more in-depth on some things and get them a better understanding of not just what they're doing, but why they're doing it. I think that should help us. And then I think, like I said, a consistency. I think we, we need to raise our expectations as a, as a whole, um, you know, and expect to be a little bit more and, and, and execute a little bit better. Coach, it's great to see you again. Thanks, Always Jim, for the time. Thank you, Mike. Jim Mahalchik joining us. Uh, a variety of titles. I think you know them. We appreciate his time. <laughs>